Welcome to Choice Classic Radio. Like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and help keep this show alive by donating at choiceclassicradio.com. For more of your favorite old-time radio shows, join us on our companion podcast, Choice Classic Radio, Mystery, Suspense, Dramas, and Horrors, where we bring to you the most mysterious tales that the golden age of radio had to offer. And now, with 677 episodes made, airing on the Mutual Broadcast Network from 1937 to 1954, we bring to you The Shadow. <laughs> Who knows what evil lurks in the hearts of men? <laughs> Shadow Ladies and gentlemen, the Shadow's exciting adventure starts in just a moment. But first, here's one of the most important announcements ever made in the history of motoring. It's about a new kind of tire. The new Goodrich Safety Silver Town. And it's really two great tires combined in one. Because inside the tire, you get the famous golden fly protection against high-speed blowouts. And outside, it has the amazing new lifesaver tread. Road tests by the nation's largest independent testing laboratory have proved that this new silver town with the lifesaver tread gives greater resistance to skids than any other tires tested, including tires listed at from 40% to 70% higher in price. Furthermore, these impartial tests also proved that the new silver town averaged 19.1% more non-skid mileage than other tires priced the same. Think of it. That's the same as saying you'll get every six mile free. Remember, this new silver town is different from any other tire you've ever seen or ridden on before. And when you first test its grip on a wet, slippery pavement, you'll realize that you've never before had such a remarkable protection against dangerous skids. For safety's sake, ride on the new Goodrich, spelled G-O-O-D-R-I-C-H. Goodrich Safety Silvertown. <laughs> Shadow Lamont Cranston, a man of wealth, a student of science, and a master of other people's minds, devotes his life to righting wrongs, protecting the innocent, and punishing the guilty. Using advanced methods that may ultimately become available to all law enforcement agencies, Cranston is known to the underworld as the Shadow. Never seen, only heard, as haunting to superstitious minds as a ghost, as inevitable as a guilty conscience. The Shadow's true identity is known only to his constant friend and aide, Margot Lane. Today's story, The Hypnotized Audience. Hold it there, Miss Khan. That's just the pose we want. Let's just wait, Mr. Khan. Gentlemen of the press, please, please. My master, Durga Khan, has already answered too many questions. Oh, you needn't get tough about it, Sultan. We you must excuse my servant, Ahmed, gentlemen. Your reception, it is overwhelming. Well, that's all right, Durga Khan. He yeah. feels I may be too tired to dance tonight. Are you really going back to the boat to the theater? Yes, that is the plan. Now, I must beg to be excused. I must get a shot. Okay, okay. Come along, gang. Thanks, Durga Khan. Well, that's the right famous Wine. Master, they took so many pictures. All the better. To them, Durga Khan is merely a famous oriental dancer and mystic. It would be amusing to see what they would print if they knew our real purpose in giving this recital. Yes, master. Come, come quickly. Ready there. Easy down, gang, buddy. Watch the step, Master. Right, right. Yes, Ahmed. Look, the princess Zada. She came to the pier herself. Zada? Where is she? Over that way, see? Standing alone behind the barricade. Yes, yes, she sees us. She little fool. Ahmed, send him enough while I talk to the princess. Yes, master. Zada. Oh, Durga Khan, what a sad day is this for thy father's house. Quiet. Come away from the crowd. 
You should not have come. Do you think my nerves are made of steel? My husband is... My husband is Durga Khan's brother, my brother. If I say wait, you wait. But in nine hours, they will kill him. Durga Khan and their electric There shall be no execution. In 24 hours, my brother shall be free. We have not got 24 hours. The execution is... He steps for three tomorrow morning. There is still time. We will delay the execution. That done, tomorrow there will be a jailbreak. My brother will escape. Yes, but... Listen to me, Radha, listen. Yes, my lord. This... This governor band. He will be at the dance recital. He will be there. Then tonight the honorable governor will grant a stay of execution to your husband, Princess Rather. A stay? A stay of 24 hours, which will be long enough. Now that I am here, the prison break will be no problem. But if the governor will not grant a stay, if my husband really dies... Hakim will not die. When Dagger Khan asks a favor, he asks in a special way. Rather, governors, not even kings, refuse. This is not in the Adurga Khan. They will guard this governor bond. Against my powers, Rather, there is no guard. Go to the house in the country. Wait there for me. If you fail... Fail? When Durgar Khan dances, there is no thought of failure. And tonight, Zayda, he dances for his brother's life. <laughs> Cigarette, Margot? Oh, thank you, Lamont. You must admit the man is an artist. Yes, of course. Durga Khan is certainly the greatest oriental dancer of the day. Huh. His dances, they have the strange, mystic fascination of the East. I just love oriental culture. Everything oriental is perfect, you know. That woman's forgotten all about another oriental. Preparing to die only a few miles away. You mean Joseph Hakim, the murderer? Exactly. No one applauded his display of oriental culture, and he's from the same section as Durga Khan and of the same caste. But Lamont, Hakim's a brutal murderer. Certainly. He's to die tonight in the electric chair. Nevertheless, he's a product of the same civilization as the artistic Durga Khan. Oh, look, there's Police Commissioner Weston. Yes, I saw him in his box. Coming over here. Hello, Commissioner Weston. Oh, Margot Lane. Hello, Cranston. How do you like the show? I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the governor. Governor Barnes? The governor isn't here. Not yet. What with the execution and everything, he couldn't get away early. He's coming for the last half of the recital. You mean Governor Barnes is actually leaving the state house tonight? Yes. Barnes is hipped on seeing this dancing fellow. I suppose he's wanted by the prison. Now, well, that's taken care of. I have one of my men keeping a special wire open here to the theater. Wasn't the present case, was it, Commissioner? No, no, sir. Plain, cold-blooded butchery. Here comes Governor Barnes. Oh, Mr. Weston, did I miss much? Not too much, Governor. Still into mission. Margot Lane and young Cranston. Well, uh, tell me, is this uh, Durga Khan as great as they say? Every bit. Fine. Well, I must get to my box. Are you coming, Commissioner? Uh, yes, Governor. It's this way. Over. We'd better get back, Lamont. There goes the buzzer. All right, Margot. Let's go back to our seat. But uh, after that first half of the program, Durga Khan's got to be wonderful. What can he do to top it? to look through the bright flames from that lamp on the altar. Well, Lamont, it's a lovely blue. I've never seen that color before. I've only seen it once, Margot. Something rather curious happened that time. He's getting ready to dance again. Yes. Where's Governor Barnes, Lamont? I've been trying to spot him. Commissioner Weston's box, see? Oh. Sitting in the rear. Lamont, Burger Collins going to speak. Ladies and gentlemen, now I will recite for you a mystic prayer. It is more ancient than believers of India. There is no translation for this prayer. You must let my doubt in Japanese before you. Well, this is something new. Let's listen. Doesn't make sense. Please, Lamar, don't disturb it. Margo. Yes? Margo, that's hypnotism. He's trying to hypnotize the audience. Isn't it wonderful? Margo, listen. Listen. Can't you hear me? A lovely chance. Margot, use your will, Margot. Your will. Oh. Oh. Shame to you, Margot. Margot. She's under calm still. Good Lord, everyone is. An entire audience. Even I can feel the influence. Mass hypnotism. But why? Why is Durga Khan exerting his will on all these people? Margot. Margo, listen to me, dear. Listen. Fight against it. Fight. I can't. Give me your hand. Now, 
Come back, Margot. Come back. What? What's the matter? Let my dear. Doug is giving a remarkable exhibition of mass hypnotism, that's all. Mass hypnotism? Yes, yes, the whole audience spellbound. Oh, Lamont, that child Don't is... listen. Don't look at that blue flame. Look up in the boxes, anything. It's Western. Quick, him. Lamont, what is look, it? Look, look. Margot, two men just grabbed Governor Barnes. Governor? Yes, they're dragging him from the box. Stop, uh, Western! Uh, Everyone, uh, listen uh, to me! Uh, the uh, governor uh, has uh, been kidnapped! Uh, uh, <laughs> Thunderstorm. Oh, Commissioner, step on it, Margot. We can't lose sight of Durga Khan's car. Don't worry, Lamont, I won't. Cranston, I've got to get back to town. This chase into the country is ridiculous. They're turning off the highway. Why should Durga Khan kidnap Governor Barnes? Look, Lamont, there's a house on that hilltop. That's where Durga Khan is headed for. It's an ideal place to hide the governor, Commissioner. Well, we can't raid every lonely house in the country. Hurry, Margot, we've got to get into that house. Yes, Lamont. Margot, look out, stop! Stop! Uh... Scott, we nearly hit that telephone pole. The storm has blown it over, halfway into the road. Yes, you could touch the wires if you wanted to. Cut your motor, Margo. We'll walk the rest of the way. Uh, shall I come along? No, you stay here. Oh, hurry up, Cranston. Let's get this full thing over. Get the shortwave radio equipment ready and stand by for a call. Yes, do be careful, Lamont. Durga Khan's a powerful and dangerous man. Yes, my dear, but so is a certain friend of ours, the Shadow. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, how will this exciting adventure of the shadow turn out? One moment and we shall see. Meanwhile, motorists, think of the chances you take on wet, slippery roads with smooth, worn tires. If your car suddenly swerved out of control, could you stop? Who knows what hazards await you? The shadow knows. Beware. Thousands of people were killed or injured by skidding cars last year. Yes, and Goodrich, too, knows the dangers of skidding. That's why Goodrich spent years developing a new kind of tire to give the greatest protection ever offered against skid. It's the new Goodrich Safety Silvertown with the Lifesaver Tread. Every inch of this new Lifesaver Tread is especially designed to dry the road under your car. In fact, motorists, the spiral bars of this tread act like a battery of windshield wipers. They sweep the water right and left force it out through the deep groove, make a dry track for the rubber to grip. Don't buy any tire until you've at least seen this new Goodrich Silvertown with the Lifesaver tread. Ride on it. Feel it grip. Feel it stop you quicker, safer than you've ever stopped before. Then you'll understand why a Silvertown stop may save your life. Commissioner Weston. No. Uh, wait, Lamont. Someone's coming now. Yes. We want to see Doug Khan. The master is rescued. I'm sorry. I'm Commissioner Weston, police department. You cannot enter. Go away. Now look here. The master must not be. Hold disturbed. on there. Ahmed, what is this? Two gentlemen, master. Police. It's, uh, Commissioner Weston, Doug Khan. Uh, let them enter, Ahmed. Yes, master. Step in, please. Thank you. Good evening, gentlemen. Sorry to disturb you, Dr. Khan. It is late, Commissioner. I believe the hour for a social call. We'd just like to ask you some questions, sir, about the governor's disappearance. So? You may go, Ahmed. Yes, master. Gentlemen, I know nothing. You don't mind if we look around a bit? It's a formality. Look around? Well, uh, yes. You yes. mean to use desire to search my house? Merely a matter of routine, sir. Routine or no routine, it is an insult. Uh, you don't understand, sir. We home of Durga Khan to be searched like the den of a common criminal. But if you... I will not allow it. Durga Khan's blood is royal. In every country in the world, its privacy is respected. I will complain to your government. You are forcing us to go and get a search warrant, Durga Khan. Search warrant. Phantom, do you think all this is necessary? But Durga Khan really has nothing to but hide. No, no. Perhaps I am going to hasty. It is 
I suppose part of your customary routine yeah. is this. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Nothing personal, you understand? In that case, come. I will conduct you myself. Now, this room here. Wait till I switch on the light. Step in, gentlemen. Oh. Hey, this is some layout. Hmm. Copy of the inside of a temple, isn't it? Yes. You see, I have fitted it even with an altar. What's that curtain behind the altar, sir? That covers the sacred flame, Mr. Cranston. Wait! I will unveil it. You know, Cranston, this place is enough to give you the creep. Yes, it is. Marvelously beautiful and yet... Look, gentlemen! The sacred flame! Same sort of a fire that he had on the stage, isn't it? Yes. That looks uh, very familiar, Durga Khan. Familiar? In what way? Uh, Mr. Cranston here had a rather strange idea about the governor's kidnapping. He links it up with hypnotism. Hypnotism? What hypnotism? Oh, it's just an idea of Cranston. Uh, one minute, Commissioner. Durga Khan, the oriental prayer of yours, it seemed to have, well, a hypnotic influence on me. In fact, on the whole audience. You must be mistaken, Mr. Cranston. Yoga Khan is a dancer, not a hypnotist. That's what I said. But that prayer... But there is harmless, my friend. Look, Yoga Khan will recite it for you quickly. It is a simple petition to one of my country's gods. Listen, gentlemen. Cranston. Oh. You feel sleepy? Yes, very. Uh, that's enough, Khan. Oh. Uh, stop, I said, stop. Oh, chant. Oh, it, it got me. Cranston. Wake up. Stop. Dagger Khan or I I'll shoot. You can shoot, Commissioner. Like the clever Mr. Cranston. You can only fall. 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 Ah. Leap, fool. Did you think to resist the power of Dagger Khan? Now search my house. Do. You will find your governor safe in my hands, no? You lie still. Dagger Khan is your master. Will return before you awake. Rest. Sleep. So, you think you can cast your spell over me, Dagger Khan? Never. Now let it be a war of wills. You against the shadow. Margot Lane. Margot Lane. The shadow calling Margot Lane. Lamont, this is Margot. Governor Barnes is here. So is Commissioner Weston. Both prisoners. Lamont, Durga Khan's men came searching and I had to leave the car. They wrecked the engine. I'm afraid they might. Now listen. The telephone apparatus in the right-hand pocket of the car. Rig it up to the telephone wires where the pole has fallen. Can you reach the wires? Yes, they're quite low. When you get the operator, ask her to trace the call and send help. Then tell her to stay off the wire. Stay off the wire? Yes. If I'm right, the governor will make a call from here very soon. You must intercept that call. You must pose as the operator of the state prison and the warden secretary. Her name is Miss Pierce. Take the governor's message. It'll be about a stay of execution for the murderer, Joseph Hakim. Say you will give the warden that message, understand? Yes, Lamont. I'll protect the governor. Durga Khan does not know about the shadow. That is all. Turn the wheel and erect a little more, men. Let Governor Barnes know what is really in store for him. Yes, Master. Durga Khan, we have not much time. I mean, not Princess Dada. My brother is not to die for a full hour. In half that time, the Governor will be begging to do our bidding. You're wrong. I'll never break. You must. Quiet, Dada. Durga Khan commands here. Listen to me, Governor Barnes. Either you form the prison and stop the execution, or this torture will grow worse and worse. I will not do it. 
Look, he is going to pay for that murder. Yes. And never turn the wheels in. Yes, Master. Yes. What about those two men downstairs? I have hypnotized them, put them to sleep. I sent Ahmed to bind them. Men, with the wheel. Master, Master. What is it, Ahmed? Master, one of the men you put under your power has disappeared. Disappeared? The Commissioner Weston, he is asleep. The other one is gone. Impossible. He's not in the temple, Master. I searched everywhere. He must have revived and fled. Oh, Durga Khan, what shall we do? Have no fears, Arthur. He cannot have gone far, but we must catch him. We must search the house. Yes, Master. Now, you are the two. You hunt through the grounds. Yes, Master. Come, Master. Arthur, come. We must find him. We must. Yes, Master. Lock the door on it. Governor Barnes. Who is that? Who spoke? A friend, Governor. I am here in the shadows. You cannot see me, but I am here to help you. Who are you? Some call me the Shadow. Shadow? I have heard of him. Governor Barnes, Durga Khan does not know I am in this room. Well, get me out of here. It's not so easy. Listen, Governor Barnes. Listen closely. I sent for help, but you must make that phone call to the prison for Durga Khan. You must. Let me explain. You will not suffer any more, but act as though you I'll do it. Stop hurting me. I'll do it. Good, Governor Bound. Hurry, Durga Khan. Dial the prison phone number. Yes, Arthur. Do not worry. There is still time. Loosen the wheel a little, Ahmed. Yes, Master. Please, please. No more torture. No more torture, Governor. But you are a very stubborn man. Durga, the phone. You promised to loosen my bond. After the call, Governor. Hello. Hello. Oh, must time, sir. They must. They will, Father. Remember, Governor, it is your life for my brothers. There will be no tricks. I said I'd make the call. You talk. State prison. All right, Governor. How much your knife is at the Governor's throat? Oh, yes, Master. Please, Governor, speak. Hello, State prison. Hello. This is Governor Barnes. The, uh, the warden's office, please. Yes, Governor, just a minute. Remember, Governor, one false move and death. Warden's office. The woman. How sweet is. Hello. This is Governor Barnes. Who's talking? Miss Pierce, Governor, the Warden Secretary. Miss Pierce, rather. Is that your name? Yes. Go ahead, Governor. Miss Pierce, I want to say of execution for Joseph Hakim. Joseph Hakim? Yes, hurry. Tell the Warden. Oh, don't worry, Governor. We'll stop it. It will be stopped. Yes. And tomorrow the prison break. And your husband will be a free man. You'll never get away with this. And you think your friends may trace that call, Governor? Perhaps. But when they reach here, we will be gone. Hakim, my husband, free. Now, what about me? You promised I'd go free if I made the call. Dark the Governor Ahmed. He annoys me. Yes, Master. You treacherous devil! Oh. He is gagged, Master. Durga Khan is not a fool, Governor. You would make too good a witness. I cannot let you leave to accuse me. Ahmed. Yes, Master. Silence the Governor. Forever. With your knife. Yes, Master. You fool. Master. You dropped the knife. No, Master. Someone gripped my arm. There is no one here. <laughs> there is, Princess. I am here. The shadow. Master, there is only the voice. Who are you that speaks and has not seen? One whose power is greater than yours, Durga Khan. The shadow. Durga Khan is unseen one. We cannot stop us now, Zada. Ahmed, get the car ready. Yes, Master. You are wrong, Durga Khan. I can stop you. No, shadow. Can your cloak of invisibility stop a bullet? The gun is useless, Durga Khan. No marksman can hit what he cannot see. Ah, but I can see the governor's shadow. He is still my hostage. We are leaving here. And if the shadow attempts to stop us, the governor dies. You cannot escape the shadow, Durga Khan. No? Here, Sada, take this gun. If I give the word, shoot the governor. Yes, Durga Khan. A life for a life, shadow. We live in peace or bonds and western die. Now... You must bargain with me, Shadow. Great is Durga Khan. He talks while his brother dies. His brother dies? My brother lives. I saved Princess him. Princess Zada, this man with his dreams of power has deceived you. He has not saved Joseph Hakim. You must be mad. Even now, Princess, your husband is dead. <clears throat> Wild talk, Shadow, and follow. Truth, Durga Khan. You cannot stop the course of justice by the power of your will. Hakim is dead. Your kidnapping was in vain. He lies, Zada. Shoot the governor. Princess, wait. Zadar, obey my order. Listen, Princess. You wish to know the truth about your husband? Yes, your voice. Oh, Zadar. Listen. Turn on the radio here. 
times the news. Listen and learn if Joseph Hakeem was saved tonight or not. And that is the weather report for tonight. Listen, Princess. And now we bring you a news flash which just arrived in the studio. Exactly two minutes ago, Joseph Hakeem was executed at state prison for murder. Hakeem walked to the death chamber unaided and he... There must be some mistake. Here it comes, Princess One. You have so many promises. You, the false brother. The mistake was in my trusting you. That was the mistake, Princess Zada. Zada, put that gun down. Zada, Durga Khan, speak. Durga Khan, speak for the last time. Ah. Ah. Put down that gun, Princess. No. No, Haki, my husband is dead. What is there left for me but death? Shot us. Let go of me. Let go of me. Master, we have caught another woman. Oh, they're dead. Release the girl, Ahmed. Where is the voice? What is it? It is the voice of the shadow men of Durga Khan. Your chief, Durga Khan, is dead. Your princess, Zada, is dead. Release the prisoners and go. Master. Ahmed. Master. The blood of Durga Khan is no more. The police are coming, Ahmed. Yes, Jack. Yes. So... The great Durga Khan is dead. Yes, Margot. He forgot that laws were for all men. Not only for the poor and the weak. Durga Khan had great talent, power. But he used it for evil. And it cost him his life. <laughs> You have been listening to a dramatized version of one of the many copyrighted stories which appear in the Shadow magazine. characters and all the places named are fictitious. Any similarity to persons living or dead is purely coincidental. That concludes today's episode. We'd like to thank you and remind you to donate at choiceclassicradio.com. Remember, 
Your donations make episodes like this possible.